To our men's singles semi-final now then from the very top of the draw the lefty from malaysia ranked 96th in the world seeded 15th here yu ven song he's up against this tall statuesque german fabian roth 138th ranked roth is unseeded been as high as 87th in the world, but that was uh, just over a year ago, September 2015, the German player. So he's been up there inside the top 100 before, just confirmation there on our screens of the match we'll be bringing you. Yu Wenzung of Malaysia as the 15th seed against Fabian Roth, the real talent from Germany. And, uh, well, quite a seismic upset on Thursday in the men's singles draw because the top seed Su Jian Hao of Chinese Taipei went out convincingly in just over half an hour to Mark Kaljo of uh, Netherlands. He went on to lose to Juven Song in the quarterfinals yesterday in a tight three game match. Just under an hour that one was. Fabian Roth there just a shadow swinging prior to the warm up. There's the German. Only 20 years old. Indeed, they're both very young. His opponent's only 21. Confirmation of his ranking, 138, has been a top 100 player. Right-hander, very, very tall, very talented. He put out Emil Holst. Emil Holst, the third seed in this event. And remember, Holst, if you remember, took out Villa Lang last year. But uh, Juven Song is his opponent today, right at the very top of the draw, having come through as the 15th seed, just a year older. just inside the top 100, a place where Fabian Roth has been before. But it's going to be interesting to see how this uh, lefty right-handed match unfolds between these two. Yu Ven Song with wins over Sam Parsons, a Chinese player initially. Song Jian Wu, the qualifier as well as Mark Kalju. Not a huge Asian contingent in this tournament. Featuring 296 players from 34 nations, the competition here, which began on Wednesday, of course. And yesterday we had the round of 16 and quarterfinals all unfolding. So what of this one then? First of our men's single semi-final. Which way is this one going to go? Well, it's always a, a battle of the styles. Um, you know, we've got the Asian style, the Malaysian, um, and also the difference in height. Ladies this is where a lot of the right, Asian players, for instance, come Germany. a little bit unstuck because they're just not used to someone, a European style player, very, very tall, not like someone they've used to left. spar with. Song Yuven, Malaysia. Lorna Fabian Halley Roth, of Scotland play. in the chair for this one. Fabian Roth to get us underway. Incidentally, uh, the man in purple, just uh, between June and September of this year, his ranking was outside the world's top 300. So he's done a good job recovering his world ranking to 138th, where he currently is. A good run of form. He's uh, 
semi-finalist in the Belgium International. Runner-up in the Prague Open and a couple of quarter-final showings as well, one in the Dutch Open and the Bitburger Open, quite recently, that one. So he's on good form. Always takes a little while, Gail, to settle against the lefty, doesn't it? Because of that sort of in-swing. It's just different, isn't it? Because there are fewer of them, I guess. It is, and it, it feels like you shouldn't be, and yet it does massively put you off your game. And it's always in the back of your mind, left-hander, left-hander, left-hander. Um, and also because uh, the badminton shuttle, the, the feathers are from the left wing of a goose, the way they, they curve in means that the left-handed players get an extra spin because of the, the way you, you hit it. So, again, it, it, it puts you off. Mm, it's a very high serve again. <laughs> Sorry, it's over. It's very easy when you've got the TV Three. and we can slow-mo a serve down. Yeah. But um, when you're a service judge in that position, again, it's a, their opinion. I'm not a qualified service judge. Yeah, tricky, all subjective, but I guess the players are looking for consistency. Service the last thing we want to be seeing is chest-high serves. Two. Oh, wonderful. Cross-net shot. Service over. There are always going to be Four. pros and cons about being the height that Roth is uh, as a badminton player, but this is a perfect example of where he can use it to his advantage. He's got such that long wingspan, and he can hold that shuttle really early and just at the last minute turn that shuttle. It's always fascinating to watch, isn't it? The sort of the, the real quick movements of this slightly shorter man, more diminutive in stature, but highly skilled as well against the big reach of the giant German. Serve is over. Five, four. But I've seen many European players, Danes, Dutch, Germans, really cause headaches for a lot of it very, very good Asian players because they just don't know what to do. And it's quite, it's quite funny watching the brain work. It was like, but he's just too big. And, but it is incredibly hard to, to get that shuttle away from that reach of someone so tall. And I guess the first man that springs to mind is Victor Axelsson, isn't it? Huge man. What is he, six foot five from yeah. Denmark, Danish number one? He went out to Chen Long in the China Open just recently. But uh, Chen Long then being ousted in the final, unusually by uh, Jano Jorgensen, who's really back in form. That was a great match. Jano Jorgensen didn't put a foot wrong in that China Open final from Fuju. Court attendant on, sweeping the sweat. You know, it's hard to believe that we're sweating when it's actually quite cold here in Glasgow. Cold outside, but warm in our hearts. It really is gripped with the icy winter already, Seven, Glasgow. Yesterday four. it hit a low of minus five. And that might be a little bit of an issue for the Asian players as well, coming from warmer climes. It can be in many, many really don't like playing in Europe because of, of the weather conditions. Well, despite a spirited defence there, Sung denied in the end by the power of the big tall German.
Well, it was close, but no complaints from uh, Sun. Judgment there from the big man. Doesn't he move well for a big hey, fella, though? He covers the court very adeptly. He does. You're absolutely right. And I think that's full credit to him for that because, OK, he misjudged that shuttle. But you're right. He doesn't move awkwardly. There is a fluidity to his movement. Um, it's just whether he can maintain it. Um, when you're up against someone who probably can do that a lot easier, you've just got to make sure that you can uh, keep it going. Over. Seven, eight. It's a lovely reverse slice drop shot. You rotate your wrist. You come from outside the shuttle to inside. Is that pronation or supination? I can't remember which way is that. Uh, pronation. pronation. Of the wrist, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Um, yeah, straight reverse drop shot. Yeah, palm in to palm out. Beautiful disguise. So very little between these two athletes at the moment. Then Fabian Roth has had a couple of long matches en route here. And, uh, in contrast, his opponent has, uh, well, actually also had some couple of three game matches as well. So both of them might be slightly fatigued. Service over. Nine, seven. See that really dynamic seven. movement from Soon. So quick. It's a great sport, isn't it? You've got that sort of the calm surrender between points where people just trying to relax and bring the pulse down and then the sort of frenzied dynamic midpoint. Too aggressive with the lift away. And it's Sung who leads with a four point lead at the mid game interval. Tight opening game, Gail, anything sort of stand out to you, patterns of play-wise? I think for, for me, soon won't be too worried. Um, like I say, sometimes it can be very hard for Asian players. And when they see a tall European player on the other side of the net, it can be very daunting. But he's played it very well. He's not panicked at all. And Roth has obviously got a huge, ang you know, huge smash. He's got angles with that. Four and he nine, has got that deception and he, is, and he moves Four well. Nine, but he's also seconds. prone to some uh, mistakes. Um, I was thinking the longer the levers you have, you've got the biomechanics of everything means that you are going to make more mistakes. And he does over rotate sometimes. And I think if he's patient but keeps that concentration, Soong should keep this lead and, and, and carry on to, to take this game. For Roth, it's just he's got to keep those unforced error rate really low. Makes you wonder as well whether there'll be an issue with frame management, well, big tall man, seven. the German. Well, to probably do quite a lot of stretching to stay supple and uh, keep his, his uh, core strong as well to control those long levers. Yeah, Babington, people forget it's, it's every trajectory. Eight, it's not just, 12. you know, tennis, you've got, obviously got the serve and then everything is mainly at waist height. But with Babington, you've got to go up, down, side, side, diagonal, cross, everywhere. I would imagine as well, Nine, tell me 12. if I'm wrong, that soon would be minimizing the clears and liftaways to the tall German being so sort of, you know, bone crushing power overhead. Yes, you've got to make sure your lifts are the, at the right time.
defending the point admirably there, Sorry, playing his right. role superbly soon. 13. And uh, oh. hanging around from Roth's perspective like a wasp at a barbecue, <laughs> just <laughs> really uh, making himself But you heard in that rally annoying. as well that he broke a string. So, uh, he, you know, Sung just did it absolutely perfect, just kept that shuttle going, didn't do anything too crazy. And Roth, you know, with that broken string, these... these Oh, the guys are having the tension at 36, 37 pounds now um, with the tension of the string. And uh, when, when one goes, that's it. You know, the whole racket just <laughs> folds into it. Like you, I've often seen players in when they break a string just then throw it away and dive for another racket out of the bag. It's yeah, quite that's something. That's doubles. Carry on with <laughs> it's yes, easier when you've got someone else that's still on court. <laughs> it's a bit hard to do that when you're yeah, on your true, own. True, true. That's close. A quick athlete to get onto that, so take it so high. Yeah, he set himself up perfectly with this cross court flat punch clear right into Sung's backhand. Really, really clever shot. Oh, deception. Service over. Mega. Yeah, he's just shoulders. That's what it was key. It's not just a racket. It's not only racket deception, it's your body uh, deception as well. So you use your shoulders to look good, to go one way, but then actually um, fake it and then put it with your, with your racket the other way. The, the nice thing working with you, Gail, in this uh, annual pilgrimage to Glasgow is that you tend to sort of actually play the shots as you're commentating, which is nice. <laughs> so lovely. You're very animated. It's a good it's job great. there's not a camera on me, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm wiggling really away it here. To life. So it's a six-point lead then, in favour of the 15th seed. Man from Malaysia is a typical Malaysian, very relaxed, languid style, a bit like the Indians. All looks very easy and effortless, gliding around the court. A bit like how I play, it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a real elegance, isn't there? Yeah. To how he undergoes his business. And I don't want to say that if you are a tall Sorry, European Sarah. player that you can't, you cannot 17, be a badminton player. 11. It just, it's just that little bit harder. And you will have, you know, the, the positive side of your badminton play where you have that power and everything. But, you know, it can be very frustrating when you're pay playing against an opponent who just glides across a court and, it, and, and it's so easy to put that 18, extra pace in. 11. Yeah, both uh, extremely different strengths on the badminton court, these players. But at the moment, it's all uh, going the way of Soon. Seven-point lead. Make that eight after the call. Spilling over the back line then, Roth. And uh, leaves the 15th seed just two points away from the opener. And a berth halfway to the final. He's a very hard man to read. But he's done a really good job, has Soon, of, of, of making Roth play that extra shot time and again. And it's often uh, resulted in error from the German. Not so on this occasion, though. Very solid point. Game. I think you got it spot on there, Paul. It's about making your opponent play that extra shot. And that's so important in singles. It's, it's having that mindset when you walk onto that court that you will be willing to do everything and anything um, to win, basically. You're willing to put absolutely everything in the kitchen sink, whatever it is, on that court. Um, and he has that, and he has that ability to do that. So when you've got that confidence and you know you're up against someone who, who's, who's, um, who can make a few unforced errors, it just... The patience is it, so crucial, and, and that just builds into the game. We've not seen Soong panic. There's been nothing on his face to suggest that. He's not been worried at all. He's, when it's been a good shot from Roth, he's, it's not bothered him. It's he's relishing the longer rallies, isn't yeah. he, because of his level of fitness and sort of poise in those longer points, trying to tease out an error from Roth. 
Whereas Ross, on the other hand, it, it is has to be all or nothing now. He's got to, got to go out here on the second uh, second game and just just smash away, basically, because I don't know what else he can do. Um, well, that's the strength of his game, isn't it? You would imagine to power through the the uh, shorter man. Mm. Not a lot of. Uh, doesn't look really pleased Command. there, does he? No, <laughs> the not... coaches aren't offering an awful no. lot to him either. They look a bit uh, sort of bemused and <coughs> bereft of ideas themselves by the looks of things. Obviously, Roth has done very well to get into the semi-final, so he's beaten a few seeded players as well. So he may be more tired or anything like that, but he's really got to just be a bit more positive now, just really go for this. Second game then, soon a game to the good. Both men have had uh, their last two no. matches have been lengthy affairs. All around the hour mark, and Fabian Roth just an hour and a minute he took to get past Emil Holst yesterday. The third seeded Dane ousted unceremoniously. I thought he missed the trick there, Gail. I don't know about you, but I thought when the shuffle went up, he should have done not the reverse slice. He should have hammered it again because Three, surely no. that's the strength of his game, that that bone-crushing power. But he, again, the immaculate defence from Soon. I know, and you know, when I back in the day when I was playing, you know, when you die, die for a shot, you, you didn't get back up. <laughs> you know, that was it. It was a, a last chance, you know, to get. But people don't understand now that. Every single player practices this. They practice the dives, they practice to get that shuttle, they're on the floor and then they get up again. Right. So this is not just, you know, showing off. Um, this really is uh, a tactic and it's amazing how these players can do it. I'm not sure if Sorry, I can do that. <laughs> not any not now anyway. <laughs> That's right. Definitely not then and definitely not now. <laughs> you doing the dives beside <laughs> me, some would ask, wouldn't they? Oh. Come back here. Get off yeah. the floor, Gail. <laughs> Service over. It certainly makes it a young person's game. Four, one. <laughs> There's been a calm reassurance about the way that Soong is playing now. Oh, I like that shot. Service over. That's good. Yes, a ripple of applause on that one. Again, use his body, his disguise. Went up for that forehand shot. Two, four. And the last minute rotation. much rotation well I guess that's what Five, happens as well when two. you're playing somebody who's just starting to really get your number you tend to go tighter to the lines and that's an indication right there and the more anxious you are the tighter and more nervous your body is and uh, yeah that just then sets the mistakes in and the head's going down Six, two. And a man that I always loved to watch, particularly here last year, Raju Fusif, British number one. So calm and languid and laid back. He's uh, Seven, playing the Hong two. Kong Open this week, I believe. Finalist here of last year, Rajiv lost out to uh, Hans Christian Vitingas in the final. Four-point game, the 15th seed, seemingly in command here. Oh. Great oh. shot. 
service over. It's hard enough to do a backhand cross-court drive, three. but look at the position, body position of Sung here. He's taken that shot from behind his body, so the power he's got to generate to do that shot is <laughs> yeah, very impressive. Elastic energy in that wrist, amazing. Service Wonderful over. drop smash from the German. Four, yeah, it's that eight. straight reverse slice again. It's like a boy in a man's world. But he doesn't play like that. Well, Malaysia, badminton is a, a national sport. There are many, many badminton players. So for him, they come from great academies Five, set eight. all over Malaysia. Morton Frost was out there, wasn't he? Oh. At a very senior position. Used to be one of my favourite places to play Service in Malaysia, over. purely because Nine, the passion from five. the crowds. You know, you're playing in front of 20,000 people, and they're all screaming and cheering. Speaks four languages. This fellow he resides in KL, Kuala Lumpur. He hasn't been in great form throughout 2016. Frankly, he had a couple of semi-final showings in 2015, the Indian International Ten, and Bangladesh five. International Challenge events. Around the 16 this year is about as far as he's been. One of those was at the Polish Open. But he's certainly putting it together here. Service over. Six, ten. Concentration Seven, now is just beginning to waver. Yeah, and the sort of appearing mind's eye finish line often induces a lull, a relaxation of the concentration, doesn't it? We see that a lot in players. Service it's all over. 11-7, interval. Hanging on, which he does so. It's 11-7 as they head to the mid-game interval. Soon in complete control here. Against an increasingly weary-looking Fabian Roth, who's... Stuck. Well, he's right up against it. You can tell from the demeanour, the body language, says it all. It is hard. If you're going to put yourself in, in Ross's position, it, it is hard. You're, up, you're on this uphill battle. But I, I don't particularly like seeing the body language that I'm seeing now. You know, he's, he's young. This should be, you know, in the semi-finals of the Scottish Open. Just go for it. You know, smile. Part on the sleeve, go for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah leave it all much. out there. Um, he just looks fatigued, fatigued doesn't he? Fatigued and, 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 and burdened almost. And you're giving that, you know, we can see it, obviously, and of course your opponent can see that. So you're just giving off all these sort of um, impressions. If he is going to develop into, you know, a world-class player, he's got to learn to control these emotions. Well, seven. Yeah, the coaches will be looking for attitude and application at this stage, that's for sure. Mental toughness oh. skills, come on. 13, seven. Challenge waning a bit now. And again, feeling he has to play tighter 14, to lines. I'm going to go down and give him a hug, I think. <laughs> feeling like that now. But also for Roth, this is, he doesn't have many opportunities to play against Malaysian players as well. You, know, you do the European circuit and sometimes the Asian players will enter, sometimes they won't, depending on you know, budgets and, and tournament schedules. So for him, it's really, this is a chance to see what he has to improve on and how he can you know, sort of you know, develop. 16, 7. Service over. 
brilliant close. Read him like a book. Nine now, with that, bubble up some energy and enthusiasm from the big, tall German player. Can he detain the 15th seed any longer? Service over. 17. Yeah, that mid-court area is something that he really has to work on. People think of singles now and they think it's just, you know, the more clears and drops and a chess style of play. But now, singles players have to be very quick in the mid-court. They've got to be very strong at drives. They've got to have attacking net play. There is no escape um, on the court. So, for me, Sung has completely outclassed him in the mid-court area, those drives and really looking forward to attack and move forward. So, um, for me, Roth not only has to look back at this match and just sort of look at his body language and, and the way he's approached this game, um, but also, yeah, how he how he can get better. Oh, just missing again Service and again, over. repeatedly, just by the Nine smallest of margins ten. now. But you get the sense that soon will not be denied a final berth. Service over. Oh, that was a good smash. We haven't seen many of them from Eleven. him, so it's good. Wonderful Over. slice, so deceptive. Match point. So after 11. 27 minutes then, Yuven Sung from Malaysia has nine match point opportunities. Yeah. Oh, that was a masterful display from Sung. He's through to this year's final. He's emotionless at the moment, but I'm sure he's delighted inside. 21-12, 21-11. Just 27 Match minutes played. 21-12, Really strong showing from the man just inside the top 100 at 96th in the world. So he'll go through to play the winner of Anders Antonsen and Henry Her. Herskainen. Herskainen, is that how you pronounce it? The Swede, fourth seed and second seed. We'll be getting it on later on court number two. Only two courts in operation today, but for now, it's uh, Yu Ven Sung safely through to this year's final. Our next match on call number one is the men's double semi final. Please welcome our technical. So, officials. turning our attention then to the third match of today. The uh, men's doubles, the first of our men's doubles semi finals between Adam Hall and Peter Mills of Britain, if you will. A Scott and an English duo. They're up against. Uh,
The Dutch team of Jelle Maas and Robin Tabeling from Holland in an all-unseeded affair.